Hello students, welcome once again in the physics online lectures. So we were discussing the quantum statistics. So in this regard we have discussed the Fermi Dirac statistics and you can just go by that lectures in which lecture I have just uh, covered all the properties that are related with the Fermi Dirac statistics in the sense that you can just uh, see all the lectures regarding Fermi energy, what is a degeneracy factor, uh, discriminating factor what is the ideal Fermi gas? So all the topics, uh, in, including this, I have just uh, uh, shown some of the applications of degeneracy fermion gas uh, in the sense of by uh, showing the lectures of white dwarfs and what is the Chandrasekhar limit. So in this lecture, I am just uh, starting the new series. You can just say the quantum statistics, the Bose-Einstein, one type of the other. Uh, type of the quantum statistics that is Bose-Einstein statistic. Why it is called the Bose-Einstein statistic? Because you are aware of the fact that the S. N. Bose sir, he is the Indian scientist. This is S. N. Bose, and you are aware of this very well known, popular this physicist. This is Albert Einstein, physicist and mathematics in the sense that, but. A special theory of relativity and this has been all given by this Albert Einstein sir. So this is a very great name in recording this. Uh, this is very popular name S. N. Bose and on the combined of these two scientist names this is called the Bose Einstein statistics. So this is a very important topic in this regard because of the fact that I have also shown in the previous lectures that what is the development of the quantum statistics how they had been originated in this we are just going to discuss the Bose-Einstein statistics of all in this Bose-Einstein statistics we shall discuss here the you can just say this ideal boson gas what is called the ideal boson gas you can just have a look of this ideal boson gas here so you can just see that when we are considering the bosons uh, you can just say that this is again when we discuss Bose-Einstein statistics so you can just say it is also one name we can give it ideal quantum gas as well so it is also called the ideal quantum gas in this regard you are aware of the fact that the in the quantum statistics the particles are here indistinguishable this is known to you I have earlier discussed when we have discriminated between the Maxwell Boltzmann Bose-Einstein and Fermi Dirac statistics so what is the basic differences you can just go through that lectures i am not going to discuss here because of the fact that this has been so many times it has been discussed previously as well so please have a look on that lectures uh, of my previous lectures on the same channel physics online lectures so in this regard you can just say that when we discuss the bose einstein statistics which is again the particles are said to be the here indistinguishable and what is the discriminating factor this is the spin how it is different from the you can just say Fermi Dirac statistics so here the spin you can just say it is of 0 or integer spin you can just say 0 1 2 3 and this is the 0 or integer spin and by these two names this is Bose and Einstein the particles are said to be the bosons uh, by the name of so on the Bose and Einstein it is called the bosons so and in this you can just have the distribution function what is the Fermi uh, distribution functions you have already seen now what is the distribution function for the case of the Bose-Einstein statistics if you just have an idea so I have earlier discussed this factor as well so this is a distribution function which is also called the probability of occupancy this is given by Ni upon Gi Ni is the number of particles and with respect to the number of energy states so this can be given by the factor 1 upon this is exponential times of epsilon minus mu upon this kt here it is minus 1 this is the basic difference when we have the this is called the distribution function for you can say that this is Bose-Einstein statistics what is the basic difference between the Bose-Einstein and statistics and the Fermi Dirac statistics distribution functions you can here it is the plus if there is plus sign then it will be the Bose uh, sorry, it will be the Fermi Dirac statistic on the basis virtue of this minus sign it is the Bose Einstein statistics so we have already discussed and this is the distribution function now 
we are considering the bosons so the bosons or the bose gas can be of two kinds you can just have it is bose gas is of two kinds now in this what is here mu mu as you are aware of the fact that it is called the chemical potential so here why we have two kinds of the boson gas in the sense that because this chemical potential if its value can be zero or it is not equals to zero but it will have certain always you can just say but always with negative value so we have two kinds of the bosons first for this chemical potential is zero and for the second one this chemical potential is not equals to zero but always negative value so for, for you are aware of the fact that for the bosons you can just say it is always you can just say negative zero or negative value so when we discuss mu equals to zero so you can for this consideration we are here the application so of the you can just say black body radiation of the photons this is discussed with this radiation of photons similarly we have lattice vibrations which is in the phonons you can just say lattice vibrations in a solid with the help of you can just say phonons lattice quanta it is called the phonons here think that is okay it is the photons black body radiation it is the lattice vibration in a solid this is with the help of this phonons here and you can just say this mu equals to 0 by taking you can just say mu equals to 0 implies what does it implies you can just say that the constructive constants that are applied you can just say for the this derivation of this bose einstein's distribution what were the constraint first thing you can just consider the conservation of particle constituting uh, constituting that system is no longer applicable and second thing the particle can be created by the energy of the heat bath and destroyed same it can be destroyed by absorption in the heat bath keeping entropy of the heat bath constant so the constant is first uh, i have earlier mentioned to you this is when we derive the bose einstein distribution function you can just say first thing we consider this is the derivation for the bose einstein we just consider for the conservation of particles this is constituting the system you can just say each no longer applicable and hence particles can be created by the energy of the heat bath and destroyed by the absorption in the heat bath and by this what should happen this keeping the entropy of the this heat bath to be constant here so the entropy of the heat bath must be the constant now this is you can just say for the particles you can just say which for which you can just say mu equals to 0 you can just assume then are the these are the particles with this mass what is the mass it is 0 here and they are they are preferred to h quasi particles here because the mass is zero so they are referred to as quasi particle and for that particles you can just say such particles have momentum what is the value of momentum can be given by the formula p is equals to h cross 
k here this is the k is wave vector h cross this is the reduced plan constant h upon 2 pi and p is the momentum and what is the energy value you are aware of this fact this is h cross omega here so you can just say these are the particles which have this momentum and this is the you can just say energy here it is given by h cross omega now this is the consideration when we mu is zero now the second kind for the you can just say second kind which we have said that mu is not equals to zero but always have the negative value then you can just say these are the bose particles the number of you can just say the particles constituting the system are the conserved one and have you can just say here the mass that is conserved and they have masses here for mu is not equals to zero or negative value so these both particles have number of particles you can just constitute the system are conserved in the previous case it was not conserved and they have mass is zero now here they have also the masses you can just say for the examples the basic examples of this are helium 4 when we discuss the helium 4 here and you can just also say that the vapors of the alkali metals you can just say vapors of the alkali metals these are the examples of the second type of the particles that we have you can just say whose atom alkali metals which atoms you can just say constituting the vapors have been this has been cooled down and and this has been cooled down up to you can just say up to the micro kelvin of the temperature this has been cooled down up to the micro kelvin of the temperature and in this regard you can just say that at when this epsilon equals to mu when this energy is equal to the chemical potential you can just say bose einstein particle interaction is negligible in this case interaction is you can just say negligible and the quantum effects that determines the thermodynamic properties of the system in this case that will be the determine the thermodynamic properties of the system in that case and you can just say that this also with mu is equals to not equals to zero or you can just say a negative this shows phase transitions this also shows phase transitions and this also called you can just say this is called the bose einstein condensation one of the important remarks of the you can just say the bose einstein statistics is the this is the bose einstein condensation so this is one of the visualizing factors that has been also experimentally verified the helium 4 phenomenon in which we have the lambda point and the bose einstein condensation these are the remark factor uh, factors of the bose einstein statistic so this is the discussion about the ideal boson gas we will discuss it in detail with the some of the appropriate uh, examples as well so thank you guys we will discuss more about it in the upcoming lectures so thank you thanks to all